Hey, what is going on everybody and welcome to Fantasia for today. We're going to be jumping into another session of Epic 7 now today. Gosmo RTA for you guys. That Sidon pick was actually adorable. I don't know where that came from actually. Probably one of the uh, like kind of art book, fan art things uh, that were implemented into the art journal. But that was really cool. I think it's the first time I've seen that drawing before, and that is nice. All right, anyway, let's go ahead and uh, let's see what we do here. So I kind of still don't want to fight against Cleave, although with ban protection. With ban protection, should we? Nah. Nah, that's fine. Let, let the Cleavers struggle. It's preseason. It's okay. They can go a couple weeks without playing, uh, playing a one-shot team. All right, so uh, this guy banned Genoa and Abyssal Euphine. Interesting. I don't really see too many people ban Abyssal Euphine nowadays, honestly. Uh, especially if you're gonna first pick Elvira, that is that is not the way to go. All right, Laya's first picked, sure thing. Uh, Laya usually comes with stuff like Crimson Armin. I don't know if I want to snatch the Crimson Armin here, or if I just want to go for something like an Arwell. Uh, Shaltier into Laya might be pretty fun. I, I do want to just use her for her injury capabilities. So perhaps we do go for something like an Arwell here. Mm. Or perhaps we can even go like a Last Rider Crown, maybe like a something of that sort. Oh, but Midnight God Lilius would be such a pain to fight against, especially if they if they choose as a ban protection unit. All right, we're gonna stick with Arwell. I think we'll be fine. Uh, what else do you pick into Elia? I guess we can go DDR, right? I guess he can go DDR. He's not gonna be ban protected here. <clears throat> Excuse me. But uh, my opponent can definitely lock in like a Dragon King Sharoon or something like that. It should be okay because we can just focus her down. I don't have to use DDR to sleep anybody at the first turn. Unfortunately, no Genua for that purpose, but again, we want to pick Shaltier, so I am going to be on the lookout for a chance to pick her, if possible, as like a last pick or something. I don't think I pick her third, fourth, because then they get a fourth, fifth pick, and then I'm pretty much screwed, but my opponent might be looking to fight my first four units, which is a pain. Uh, let's see what they are going for. The thing you're really hard here. Ooh, hang on. Are they? Are we gonna get cleaved here? Like, uh, like a. This is gonna be a weird cleave without Zero Ron. Oh, never mind. Navy Captain land with a ban protection. That's kind of. It's a little bit weird. Wouldn't expect a Navy Captain Landy to get ban protected. Uh, do we really want Shaltier here still? I don't know. Perhaps we can go Lone Crescent Bologna. I mean, could we actually honestly go for something like um, ML Politis? Do we just go ML Politis here? ML Politis and like ML Bologna? Who else would be a good, good unit to use with ML Politis? I guess we can lock in like ML Politis here. Why not, right? They can't ban her. Uh, let's go with the ML Bologna. Lone Crescent Bologna. And you know what? You know what? Let's throw Fire Ravi in here. She has a full crit too, right? We can throw Fire Ravi as my last pick. I'm putting Lone Crescent Bologna here for now. We'll see if they pick like LZ and stuff like that. Uh, Lua. Do I care about Lua? I might care about Lua. She's not ban protected. We can always get rid of her. So this last unit's gonna be crucial. If it's not something that's a huge threat to me, like an Alvira, for example, then we just ban the, uh... Oh, okay, and Little Queen Charlotte. Um, sure, let's go for this. Let's ban the Lua. I think we can deal with an LQC. We have stuns from Arwell, from sleeps from DDR, right? I think we'll be okay. We'll ban the Lua, so she can't really control my team here. And he's, oh, he's gonna get rid of the Arwell. Okay, that's fine, that's fine. I think Politis is going to be lapping this uh, LQC anyway, so we'll be okay. Attack for the team is fine. I think HP for the team here is okay as well. Yeah, just give defense to herself. That's fine. That's okay. Uh, I think we'll be okay. Go for it. No mitigation on my team is going to be rough because this Landy could just outright destroy me. So we'll see. If you dual attacks here, S2. Never mind, he's coming in for the S3, going for the sleeps. His like is actually faster than my ammo I just realized that. That is incredibly scary. 
Uh, we do go into stealth, though, which is fine, and Laia gets to go. This is perfect tuning, actually. I don't care that my Politus didn't go here. Uh, I just really want to make sure that I am able to kind of sleep everyone on the other team. We did dual attack. I think this is okay. We'll just go ahead and sleep everyone. <clears throat> Because he doesn't have anyone to really cleanse this. Boom. Nice, nice. Good stuff, good stuff. Of course, Landy can't be put to sleep, but that's okay. Go for the S2. Uh, Ravi gets to go. We always crit, so we might as well just hit the Landy, right? Boom. The Venom's gonna detonate. Look at that damage. It's beautiful stuff, guys. Absolutely beautiful. Because now we can just finish off the Landy here. Give everyone a bigger buff. Dude, this is Ravi with the bigger buff and an, uh... Well, she doesn't have an attack buff, but she's gonna get the, um, whatchamacallit buff from, uh, Politus here. Alright, so we're gonna go for the S3. We're gonna push back that LQC. Look how far back she is. I'm not really scared of her. Uh, it's not like Aiden, where she can keep pushing up her combat readiness really easily. Alright, so we push everybody back here. Laika's gonna lose that turn anyway. Might as well just sleep this, um, sleep this Laia. Just trying to get some injury onto her. Okay. So, Laia does lose this turn, that's okay. And at this point, do I really just want to finish off the LQC? I could probably just finish her off. Let's go for this. Boom. Colonna. Oh, look at that damage. Beautiful stuff, guys. Because now we can come in with an S3, and an S3 also has injury carried along with it. So, this should kill the LQC, and we should injury down this Laia as well. Look at this injury damage. Boom. Right? Look at that. Look at that beautiful stuff there. <laughs> Another unit having full crit, like guaranteed crit, like Fire Ravi, is huge. Because Emma Landy, you know, I always picked Bologna into her because she guaranteed the crit. She was just a really good counter. Mine's still full damage build with some bulk to, to counter these Landys. But now having Ravi on your side as well is insane. Um, yeah, I, don't, I honestly don't know how to feel about this. Ravi is such a great unit right now uh, into things like Navy Captain Landy. Right, and she has the bulk to withstand the uh, the hits from Navy Captain Landy too. In fact, she's bulkier than my Bologna. My Bologna is like 18k health, 19k. Uh, my my Robbie is like 26k HP. It's insane. All right. Oh, again the same pre bans. What is this a new meta going on that I did not realize? Did overnight when I went to sleep? Did overnight just everything change? Everyone's like, yes, Genoa and uh, Abyssal Euphine. No. <laughs> just no. Alright, let's first pick Laia. Laia puts a lot of pressure on my opponent, so let's go for this. She's also a really good neutral pick. I don't have ML Haste. It, it, it's kind of bad. I don't have ML Haste. I, I really wish I'd gotten him, just because I want to collect all the ML5s anyway. But we keep getting screwed out of our luck. So without ML Haste, he would be a really good first pick. He's like an insane, borderline, I would say, like, oppressive unit to fight against. Uh, in, in all aspects. Standard, cleave, aggro, whatever the opponent's playing. He's nuts, especially on Celestine. You get so much healing, it's it's an, it's like not even comparable to any other unit. Alright, Navy Captain Landy and Emma Politis. Ooh, see, the Politis there prevents you from really using Bologna or Ravi. Because she cuts Fighting Spear gains in half, which is not good, obviously. Um, do I want... What do I want here? It's, it's kind of... Kind of iffy, right? Let's go Crimson Armin, and uh, let's just go Bologna anyway. Let's just go Lone Crescent Bologna. I might ban the Politus here. We'll lock in the Bologna just so he can't ban her uh, against this uh, Navy Captain Landy here. At least have one unit locked in for sure. I don't know if I'm going to go down the Bologna Ravi route here. It really depends on these, like, three units. Because if I ban him a Politus, I can't ban any of these. Ooh, hang on. Is this, <laughs> this is the same from last time? What? Destina, though. That's going to make a difference. Okay. Uh, Destina does make a pretty big difference because he can cleanse the LQC, push her up, and he can guarantee a turn with her and try to bonk the, uh, the Bologna on my side. Thankfully, you do have Crimson Armin, but I don't know if she's going to be enough. Ooh, LQC, Navy Captain Landy, is DDR fine here? Like, do we go DDR? I don't think so. I feel like DDR is not the play here. 
<clears throat> we can maybe go... Ooh, should we go DJB? DJB and Fire Ravi? Is this another Fire Ravi game? It might be. Uh oh, DJB and Fire Ravi, please? Oops. Ooh, Flit. Oh, wait, no, hang on. This is really bad. <laughs> I don't know how I land on Flitica, actually. Um, I thought I was going to land on Shaltier because I ended up on her. Yeah, I was thinking for way too long there. I, I really shouldn't have picked DJ. I was, I was going to go for Flitica and then Ravi, but then I was like, oh, wait, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get outsped by the Politus. And then I thought, no, I was banning the Politus. This is the reason why. So, yeah, I don't know how DJB is going to work out here for us. Oh, well. Uh, is this okay? I don't know if Laia can actually withstand everything here. Because if. Oh, wait, no. Bologna can't get banned. That's the thing. Oh, wait, hang on. Wow, wait a minute. I'm an idiot. Bologna can't get banned. I didn't need a second DPS. I can literally draft a single DPS draft. Hang on. Ban protection. <laughs> I'm still like thinking like it was before. I was like, oh shoot, what if they ban Bologna? I have no DPS. Uh, let's ban this. This is huge. All right, cool. No, uh, no DJB is fine. We have Flitica. Uh, she will be taking the first turn, and I can probably reset the Arwell or something here so I don't get stunned. Crimson Armin can give herself defense. I don't think we need resistance on anyone here. Yeah, and I think this is good. I think we're fine. Let's go for it. Wow, I'm an idiot. I was like, yeah, I'm gonna protect Emma Bologna, and then I was like, oh, what if they ban Emma Bologna? It's gonna take a lot of getting used to, uh, that's for sure. I can go for an S2 and try to strip some of the buffs here, especially the anti-crit buffs. Boom. Okay, cool, very nice. Uh, no reset on this LQC, it's fine, because I did want to reset this Arwell, mostly. So they're buff stacking here, right? Arwell gives everyone a barrier, uh, and you know, uh, LQC has immunity. Landy here has the anti-crit uh, buff, so there's too many buffs for Flitica to strip both on the LQC. I think what I'll do is I'll push up the entire team. Alright, I'll do this so that he can't bonk uh, my Bologna. So we'll go for an S3 here onto the Landy just to get some uh, quick little damage in. And then what I'll do is I'll uh, Crimson Armin and I will protect everybody. <clears throat> so there we go. Uh, I think we're safe. Should be safe. Uh, do we reset the Arwell? Please tell me I reset the- <gasps> I didn't reset the Arwell! Oh shoot, wait a minute! I didn't see the resist! You gotta be kidding me! Oh, no, no, no. B Bologna's dead, guys. Bologna is dead. And he gets a salvo too! Yo, that's absolutely insane. Oh, that's a that's an injury landy, actually. It's a Benny Mars Tachi LQC. Got it. Well, Bologna's dead. Well, that's cool. Wow. If I had... S wow. The whole reason I picked Flitica was to reset here, and she didn't reset. Absolutely insane. What? How am I supposed to win this now? Legit, how am I supposed to win this now? I guess we, I guess we guys just bank on Laia, right? Bank on Laia doing something. We gotta hit the Arwell to make sure we don't, um, don't screw ourselves over. Oh my god, I can't believe we did not reset. I honestly can't believe we did not reset there. That's, that's terrifying. And this is like a 29, almost 30k HP Arwell. There's no way she has like... 250 resist, right? My Flitica is like 150 effectiveness. Absolutely no way. I'm gonna hit the Landy just to blind her. Um, oh my god, guys. I'm... Oh, that's a little... That's a little upsetting. Okay, good. At least he missed. Uh, we do have one more turn until we have our S3. I am gonna try to kill this Destina. I don't know if I can actually kill the Destina. That's the main thing, I really have, like, no damage on this team. <clears throat> and Landy, when she comes in with an S3, I think we're, we're pretty much all dead. Destine also has a revive, too. He's just gonna break the skill nulls here. Okay. Uh, do we... Can, can we actually go for an S3? Is this Arwell gonna resist again? I don't know. Let's go for it, let's go for the S3. Get that skill null back up again. <clears throat> 
See, I can understand if, like, Destina resists. See, look at that. He 15%ed me at the start of the match. That is disgusting, guys. Absolutely disgusting. I am gonna just gonna, um, provoke him. Alright. Can we actually kill the Destina here? Because if we can't, we're in trouble. We're injury down, too. Look, we only have 24k health. It's a big problem. Oh, no, there's no... There's absolutely no way. We're gonna have to concede this one. Wow! I can't believe that Arwell really resisted the Flitic at the start and screwed us over massively, right? Bologna would have been protected. The whole turn order thing is planned out. The Crimson Armin's made to be last, and if you pair it with Laia, you can cut the team. Protect everybody. Your opponent essentially misses out on their whole first turn. I feel like we got scammed. I feel like we got absolutely scammed in that match. That is very upsetting. Alright, it's fine. It's fine. Uh, I'll chalk it up to the fact that we didn't have Fire Ravi on our team. So if we used Fire Ravi, we probably would have won, right? Obviously. Obviously. <laughs> the only issue with Fire Ravi is if you pick her too early, your opponent can easily counter her with um, with units like Shu, with Arya, with any any water unit, ice unit. I mean, uh, Karina, for example, as well, is pretty strong against her. So you do have to watch out for that. All right, let's see what this guy is in store for us. Should we keep banning these? Do I want to ban something else? I mean, I, I can try out ban protection against these guys too. Um, What are units I don't want to fight against? I don't know if there's a unit I really don't want to fight against that's not Cleave. Let's just keep banning Cleave. Apparently this guy doesn't want to fight Cleave either. Okay, he has first pick. Let's see what they lock in. Again, I'm curious to figure out like uh, if I'm doing better as a first pick player or second pick player with ban protection in the system now. ML Haste, okay. So he is getting picked up. Really annoying unit. Absolutely despise fighting him, but it's alright. We can lock in DDR as our ban protection unit, I think. That'd be pretty good against ML Haste. Of course, when you when you wait, you risk your opponent locking it in, but it's fine. If they lock in ML uh, uh, DDR, we, we can lock in Dragon King Sharoon. So we should be alright. Second pick might be better in that aspect where you can utilize ban protection a bit more. Oh, haste though. Do we go Laia? I think Laia is still great here. We still go Laia. Should we also go Crimson Armin? Or do we go something like LQC? Let's go LQC. Why not? An early LQC pick. Let's go ahead and just lock her in. Mount Politis is going to get picked up. That's okay. Our BAM protection unit. Who do we want to ensure gets through here? He didn't lock in ML Politis, so I'm really curious to see who his BAM protection unit is going to be here. Celine. Ooh. Okay. All right. I'm down for this. Let's see what the Celine has in store for us. Um. <clears throat> I guess we can always ban the ML Politis, right? Do I even want to go DDR? DDR into Selene seems a little iffy, especially with the new Selene buffs of like starting with stealth and all that other stuff. I don't know if I really want that. Fire Ravi still seems really interesting. But you can't pick her here, because then they'll pick two ice units and I'm screwed. Uh, who do I want to lock in? I might ban him a Politis. I think we do go... Let's just go DDR, just because I can. Ban protection DDR. And we'll go for a damage mitigation unit. Let's go for Crimson Armin. I think she'll protect us the most out of everybody here. <clears throat> Her mitigation against... Um, so Selene ignores damage share, I believe, or something like that. And we, we do have Crimson Armin's passive, though, reducing damage taken, which are two different things. Benny Maru's going to come out. Okay, he's just going to try to nuke this LQC as soon as possible, I guess. Ooh, and Dragon King Sharoon. Alright. I guess we can go for a Fire Ravi here. This Fire Ravi into Selene is not terrible, right? Do we care about the Dragon King Sharoon? Probably not. Let's go ahead and ban this. Or do we? Do we ban the ML Politis? No, we ban the Dragon King Sharoon. Politis just puts a speed down. I think I'm okay with that. Maybe I'll live to regret- Ooh! Maybe I'm gonna regret that, hang on. 
He banned the LQC for some reason. He doesn't want Blood Moon Haste to just straight up die, I guess. Um, we do have to fight Blood Moon Haste. That's the main thing. We have to fight Blood Moon Haste first. If we kill anybody else, he, he can just revive somebody once he kills, right? Hmm. And he has insane healing too. So we'll see what happens. Laya doesn't have to cleanse here. Laya doesn't have to do anything except dual attack. Ooh, DDR actually didn't get completely screwed over. If I ask two, Celine's gonna go. We'll sleep the Benny Maru. There we go. Maya's gonna go. Let's go ahead and just uh, dual attack into this haste. Oh, nice. Got provoked. That's interesting. He's on Celestine. Got it. Alright, so I don't think Celine can kill anybody here. He might target DDR. But again, we have Crimson Armin. So I'm hoping we're okay. Still hoping. Fingers crossed. Alright, we're doing okay. That's fine. Alright, Politus gets to go. She gets a dual attack. She'll probably dual attack with the Selene. Okay, um, ooh. Do we really want to push up the team here? Selene's probably going to take the turn. She's already S3, though. She'll have an attack buff. She can S1. I think we just go for ML Haste. Ah, oh, there you go, that's what I wanted. I want the Fire Robbie to get in on the action. So, here's what I can do now. I can just go ahead and pop the S3 on Crimson Armin. It'll waste Selene's S3, or S2. Everyone's gonna be protected here, right? So it'll waste this. We're good, we're good. And Selene cuts the Robbie, so he can't even damage the Robbie here. Very, very nice. Crimson Armin uh, pulling through in this draft here. He's gonna hit Diddy. That's fine. Uh, let's go for. Let's focus down this ML haste if we can. Polinus could strip, but I think she'll strip immunity first if she dual attacks into DDR. And this is her last turn of a rage buff. Ooh, he went for the went for the Ravi. All right. Now Benny Maru is really dangerous right now. He still has his S3 and everything. Do I want to just S3? I could just S3 and then S2. I know Benny Maru will be unaffected. It's going to be a little risky because he could actually just nuke the Fire Robbie here. I'm hoping that my my uh, damage is going to be enough. Uh, we can push up. Politus is pretty far back. Let's just push everybody up here. Alright, good. As long as like haste doesn't follow up, I think we can live. His S3 into Ravi can probably defense break, and then he's gonna have an extra attack. But he has 15k health, so Benny Maru's not gonna deal that much. Ooh, yeah, and see, look, because we got crit, Ravi's passive kicks in, we cleanse that defense break too. I keep forgetting about that passive. She basically has like a Crimson Seed built into her. Like, but a better Crimson Seed, right? But a better Crimson Seed. Uh, we can kill the haste. Boom, boom. Great. Detonate. Beautiful. We can just go for. Let's go for a dual attack here. All my units are pretty fast, so let's just go for it. Ravi's healing. That's good. Real good. Politus can S1. She can't dual attack. Is he gonna quit? Oh! <laughs> when your whole team revolves around haste, guys. When your whole team revolves around haste. I think we played around my opponent's skills beautifully, right? I think we did a pretty good job of playing around the Benny Mara, playing around that Selene. Uh, again, I, I forgot that the Ravi cleanses that defense break. That's huge. Now when you have a, an, a unit like Benny Maru who does like a defense break and an extra attack, you basically just always cleanse the, the defense break and you, you won't take that extra damage. That's huge. All right. I'm feeling much better now. You know, screw that second match which we got scan scammed. Um, that was pretty good. All right, let's finish off strong with our last match here. You guys were mentioning that, like, hey, has a why are your last matches always like the most epic ones? I have no idea, right? I just I just hop in and I play a few matches and I, I share them with you guys. So nothing is pre-planned or pre-recorded or anything. Uh, what do we do? See, ooh, see Lilia's first pick. I want to lock in like a bunny dom. That's really what I want to do. Band protection bunny dom sounds great here. Let's go, Lia. 
Why is a good cleanser here? No Politus, no Ed. Ooh, no Ed is really weird, guys. Hang on, no Ed is really weird. I don't know if I want to pick a support unit here yet. Maybe I could just throw in Lionheart for fun. Because he has a dual attack, right? Maybe we throw in a Lionheart. Why don't we do that? I'll throw in Lionheart here just for now, because I want a ban protection like a Bunny Dom or something. And then if he has a bunch of debuffers, we can put another cleanser in here. Oh, Blitica Briar Witch. Okay, I see, I see. I see what's happening here. He's he's protecting Blitica. Cool. I guess we just need to outspeed him, right? He didn't Oh, I banned Zeo. I was like, I could pick Zeo here. No, he banned Zeo. Um Who could be a decent unit for this Blitica team? He's like, it's a whole team revolved around Blitica, which is why I'm a little bit concerned. Normally, if she's in a normal cleave team or whatever, I'm like, yeah, it's fine. It's a little bit more concerning. Uh, I think Bunny Dom's still good here. Let's lock in Bunny Dom. We just throw in Fire Ravi too. I mean, why not, right? Throw in Fire Ravi because we can. And then we'll throw in one more cleanser. I guess Dilibet. Ooh, Dil we should have locked in Dilibet too. A Dilibet would have been great. Yeah, Dilibet would have been better here. Although he now has Aiden. Ooh, that is rough. That is real rough. Why? But why Aiden? <clears throat> I'm just really concerned. Why Aiden out of all things? I don't really have a dark unit for him to, to nuke. She is pretty decent in general, but... Uh, Dilibet would be good here, yeah? Let's go for a Dilibet. Honestly, I kind of just want to get with a Briar Witch, because otherwise I don't think anyone's really proccing that Blitica. Let's get rid of the Briar Witch. Let's get rid of Fire Ravi. Ooh, what a coward. Get rid of Fire Ravi. I wanted another Fire Ravi match real bad, so I picked her there. Honestly, she probably wasn't the pick here, but I just want another match with her. Anyway, I think we're good. I think everybody's good here. Bunny Dom's on HP. I think that's fine. All right, let's jump into it. Uh, see Lilius. I don't know if he's going to pop all his skills. We'll get skill no immunity. I don't think he wants that. Sword of Cycling Season. So he is on the uh, artifact that nukes dark units. wonder if he's going to try and nuke my Dilibet here. He can always S2 and push back the Dilibet, I guess. No, he's going to S1. Ooh, okay. Alright. That's fine. Okay. Ooh. Let's see, Politus gonna go. Ooh, he might actually get me here. Come on, guys. He might actually get me here. Who's he gonna kill? Gonna, he can kill Lionheart, right? He should be able to kill Lionheart here. Yeah, he should be able to get the Lionheart. For sure. It's a 20k HP Politica. It should probably still kill. Okay, 17k HP. That's pretty decent damage. Uh, we can go for... I mean, we're dead. D Dilibet is so dead here. Dilibet is super, super dead. Uh, might as well go for the heal and CR pushing, just to get the Lia going. Alright, might as well go for an S3 here, just because. Oh, missed on the Aiden, that's not what I wanted, because now he can counter. Alright, it's okay. Uh, he will just kill the Dilibet. Just S3, and then everyone gets invincibility too. Unless he goes for Laya, I mean... I know, yeah, go for the Dilibet, that's fine. So everyone is protected here. Let's go for the Aiden. Oh, double miss, beautiful. He really wants to uh, use a Sea Lilius S3, that's why he's uh, trying to kill Bunny Down first. Yeah, so Bunny Down does fall, because Sea Lilius can control Laia, and that, that's one of the main things. If he soul burns Sea Lilius, uh, Laia can get two turn provoked and then we're in trouble. We are stunned. We have Sweet Miracle, but I don't know if that's really going to help us out here. Ooh, we lose that turn too. 
Okay, so he is gonna just S3 and heal S2. Yeah, I don't think we, I don't think we got this, guys. Unfortunately, I do not think we got this. That's unfortunate. Pretty cool. Uh, again, I, I like to see Blitica teams work. Uh, it's it's nice to see her work in a team that wasn't a cleave team, really. That Aiden there, that Politis there. But honestly, guys, Aiden, every time she's on the opponent's side. I don't tend to do so well. Maybe I need to switch my pre-bands up again, back to my normal stuff. But with that being said, though, guys, thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it, and I'll catch you in the next one. Take care.